I mean, obviously, the comparisons uh, were favourable uh, on the year on year, but these were still very good looking numbers. Good morning. Yes, they are incredible numbers, really. Right. Um, that sort of more than 30 percent growth at the group level is, is, is really impressive, particularly uh, the all important iPhone franchise, which grew 50 percent. Um, but it, but you're, you're right to note the sort of after after hours market reaction. Um, and I think it's it, it, it's a function of several things. One being the lack of guidance on the next quarter. The second being the supply issues you alluded, alluded to. Um, but the third and I think most important thing really is what the shape of growth looks like as we head into next year. Um, and as we've got sort of more than or close to 40% growth so far this year in the iPhone franchise, and that's a predominant driver of revenue, it's right to start asking questions as to, as to how growth for the iPhone suite looks next year. Paddy, we, we continue to ask the question around the maturity of the smartphone market. And quite frankly, we've been asking the question uh, since the days of uh, Nokia and Ericsson leadership. Um, why do we need to be concerned at this point that iPhone perhaps won't continue at this run rate? Well, I, I think it's, it's fair to say that it, it definitely can't continue at this run rate because 40% growth year on year in, in an already well-penetrated market like smartphones is, is pretty hard to achieve. Um, and then when we look back at the last year, there are probably some factors that worked in Apple's favor, um, largely around sort of COVID-related tailwinds in terms of uh, perhaps stimulus checks or savings benefits for, for their customer base, um, along with the sort of 5G upgrade cycle, which is arguably pulled forward a fair bit of demand from future years. Um, I think on, on the conference call last night, they did mention sort of record upgrade rates in the quarter. And, and when you have record upgrade rate, rates, it does sort of reduce the potential for upgrades in the following year and the years after. Um, so I guess with that exceptional growth this year, with those other factors on top, it, it, is, start, it is right to start to being worried about uh, growth in the next year.